Welcome back to Hector Badge and Carnage. Uh, we're down here at the underground brothel. Crispy, black, and overcooked females on fire. Oh, bugger, Rachel, that's a bit much. That's not hot, or is it hot? Searing blit. Forget condoms, sounds like I'll need a welder's smock. Ew. Melting hot, stinking girls. Crispy, black, and overcooked. Yeah, just go in there. And people say police work is boring. This is the secret exclusive VIP brothel. My nan's attic is more alluring. <gasps> new guy, new guy. Hey, gorgeous. Welcome to the real footy foreigners. <laughs> you -hoo. Over here, big boy. See anything you like? Oh, was that you speaking just now? Sorry, I thought you were some sort of novelty armchair. You let me know if you need anything, just to let you know. I do it all. Except cardio, apparently. Please, please, please don't sit on my face, because I'm afraid you're going to pop my skull. That pole better be tough and carbon steel. That pole better be... Hey, that's not a webcam. That's a Flame X 6000. Must be the fire alarm Shorty was talking about outside. My neighbour has one of those. Has the sensitivity up so high, it goes off whenever I pass wind. Can we make ourselves fart then? Looks like some sort of vault door locked from the inside. I'd never fit through there, even if my name was Detective Inspector Thumbelina. And it is! I know one-way glass when I see it. There's got to be someone back there, and I'll bet it's my terrorist. If there's anyone in there watching me right now, read my lips. You're a bleeding pervert. Webcam's disconnected. Oi, mate, leave it. Aye? Look, you seem like a decent guy for a fat bloke. I'll let you in on me little secret. Thanks, mate. Us fat blokes need all the help we can get. Look, you see all those cameras about? Right, mate? It's how they make the real money in this place. It's blackmail, mate. You're joking. Such immorality and in a brothel of all places. I know, mate. You come in for a little Saturday slap and tickle and next thing you know, you're on the cover of the Sunday Bloody Times. Highway bloody robbery. The debt some places will sink to. Of course, you can always feed the automated gift shop on the way out. Slip them a few bills and they'll wipe you from the drive or something. That's how they keep the place running in such tip-top shape. Too bad I'm not married, important or famous, or all of this would be useful to me. Lucky sod you. Of course, if you don't give a rat's ass, you can have the pics to take home, brag to your mates or whatever. But check it out, mate. That cable there controls the one above me. Well, it would, if it weren't disconnected. I'm guessing you'd like to keep it that way. You learn quick, mate. So out pops the plug and in pops shorty, if you get me meaning. <laughs> Play for free, avoid the fee, you get me, mate? I am keeping up, yes. Can't have any snaps leak into the public eye or the little wifey will kill me. So don't touch the cable and we'll stay mates. Right, mate? Right, mate. Alright, so obviously we have to reconnect that. Looks like Shorty got the second last pick of the litter. Hey, can I get one of those when he's done? You want ice cube? No, I was talk- But ice cube on men booby is very nice. <sighs> no, I meant the- Ah, you want finger? No! Do it, I give you pokey pokey. I'm very good, I get every place. Look, no thanks. You not want mind pokey? Okay, I let girls know you likey, yes? Shaquandra, fat boy likey pokey, yes? He likes what? <laughs> Mate! You into the weird stuff, eh? Wildcat, this one, you can have her when I'm done. I'm fine, thanks. Look, can I take the masseuse home? I used to, uh, I used to live with a massage therapist. It's not all bad. It's my first time here. How does this work? Well, uh, when a man and a woman... Oh, not like that. I know how that works. Man of your physique, you never know. 
I mean, is there a catalogue or something? Well, I'm free, sweetheart. Does free in this case mean available for use or clearance rack? <laughs> Whatever you want it to mean, silly. You're not exactly the sort to be tossing around the subject of physique. Hey, some guys are into ladies like me. Into ladies like you? You mean BWs? You mean BBWs? I left out the second B on purpose. <clears throat> if you don't like what you see, take a hike, Buster. Look, I'm trying to solve a mystery. Oh, a detective? Don't you be dusting me, because I've had me fingers everywhere. No. Oh, please, stop trying so hard. What's with the one-way glass back there? What one-way glass? That's a mirror, silly. Yeah, sure it is. Next you're going to tell me you had it installed because you enjoy looking at yourself. Okay, it's one-way glass. That's Jiminy's area back there. Who the hell is Jiminy? If that indeed is his real name. He runs the... Well, uh, I probably shouldn't be talking about it. Go on. The cameras. We're supposed to pretend they aren't there. Like on Big Brother, if we talk about the camera, it breaks the illusion of reality. Right. People love brothels for an overwhelming and unbroken dose of straight reality. Tell me more about this Jiminy character. How come? I... And because he made me blow up my favourite pawn shop earlier. Not Jiminy. Yes, Jiminy. How do I get to Jiminy? You don't get to Jiminy. Nobody gets to Jiminy. He locks himself in the server room for months at a time. Surely Jiminy's got to come out sometimes. To drop a deuce? Every six months he... What? On second thought, I'm not interested. Last time I saw Jiminy was when a scented jasmine body candle was knocked over and set the curtains on fire. Lost a whole bank of servers and a load of potential blackmail fees. Since then he's so scared to death of fire he installed heat sensors everywhere. I want to set one off, I'm not sure. How to. So the last time you saw Jiminy outside of his oval was... The Great Fire of last Tuesday. Now you show up for work with so much as a sunburn and the heat sensors go off. So I have to get a sunburn? So the last time you saw Jiminy outside of his oval was... The Great Fire of last... Tell me more about the cameras. Everything that goes on here gets documented and filed on a huge server back there. For what purpose? Merchandising, of course. Merchandising? In a whorehouse? Sure. Didn't you see the gift shop on the way in? Mugs, magnets, mouse mats, anything you like to remember us by. Why would I want to look at a picture of myself doing the nasty while drinking tea? <clears throat> well, if you don't like them, you can pay even more to have them destroyed. Can I see the photos? The gift shop outside stores them all. The idea is to have a poke around in this room. <laughs> then have a poke around with the gift shop on your way out. Thanks. I've learned enough. Hey, you see that footballer over there? Hmm, do I ever. That's Shorty Polchester. What I wouldn't give for a kick to his corners. Oh, you like him? Because he was just talking about you. Really? What did he say? Uh, he wants you to sit on his face. He just called you a goddess. He did? Oh, yeah. What's the name of that Greek one who could turn milk into yogurt just by looking at it? What? He didn't really say that, did he? <laughs> Please don't cry. It's making me go even limper, if that was possible. Can I tell you a secret? Sure. <laughs> is it about you? <laughs> the truth is, I'm not a very good prostitute. Hell, that's not exactly a secret. Ask anyone. Oh, I knew it. 
I'm horrible at us. Don't look at me. There, there, honey. You, you try. Nad sex. I think I just shriveled up inside myself. My penis went from an Audi to an any. Listen, can I tell? Okay, but please. I was lying before. Short is actually crazy about you. He is? Yeah, he's seen you looking at him and he's been waiting for you to come over and take control. I can only imagine how much he'd like to uh, lose himself in your talents. I've got talents. I can tongue me own belly button. Oh. Right, save that one. Now get over there and show him what you're made of. Kick it off with a good sexy opening line. You can do this. Oh, you made me feel so much better about myself. I can do this. I can and I will. Nice cape. Super slut. How about a no-strings-attached committed relationship, big boy? I've already picked out the names of our unborn children. You! Christ! You're joking me! No! <laughs> That's an image that'll burn itself so far into my brain that I'll need a belt sander to remove it. Well, let's see if we can fix the cameras. Cameras and wires certainly fits with the terrorist's appetite for technology. Can I fix them, though? Webcam's disconnected. Yeah, you get that face full of butt. Big smiles, everyone. Time to hit the gift shop. <laughs> Have fun. I hope he doesn't smother to death. Well, that was disappointing. I wonder if they do snow globes. Welcome to the Furry Furnace Executive Gentleman's VIP gift shop. Is there anything I can help you with today? Yeah, I... <laughs> can, can I get a naughty snow globe? Have you any naughty snow globes, perchance? I'm sorry, your answer was not recognized by the system. Please choose from the following options. Please listen closely because our options may have changed. The following options are the options available. There are three options available. If you'd like to see a selection of our merchandise, press or say Merchandise. If you'd like to see a selection of our photographs, press or say Photographs. If you have a question about your membership fees, press or say blackmail. Anytime you want to quit, just say quit. I want a mug with that guy getting the fat lady's butt in his face to give it to his wife. Merchandise. You have chosen photographs. Is this correct? I guess. Whatever. I'm sorry, your answer was not recognized by the system. Merchandise. You have chosen photographs. Is this correct? Yeah. Yes. Welcome to the Gallery of Sins. Four people have signed in today. Please confirm your identity. I'm Shorty McBallerson. Eugene Shorty Polchester. Welcome back, Mr. Polchester. There are currently one incriminating photos of you available. To purchase a family photo collection of various sizes, say photographs. To purchase an attractive t-shirt, say t-shirt. To purchase a novelty mug, say mug. To wipe this photo from our records, say delete. Oh man, I wanted a mug, but a t-shirt's nice too. But the mug she can use every day. <laughs> mug. You have chosen delete. Is this correct? No. No! Okay, let's try again. Please select an option. Give me a t-shirt. T-shirt. You have chosen... Delete. Is this correct? Your system sucks. No! Okay, let's try again. Please select an option. I really wanted that t-shirt so bad. Imagine the look on his wife's face when you're like, Check that out, I got you a t-shirt. Photos. You have chosen... Delete. Is this correct? The t-shirt. T-shirt. 
Okay, let's try again. Please select an option. Mug. You have chosen delete. Is this correct? Free. Okay, let's try again. Please select an option. Give me. Uh, what happens if I say delete? I tried all the other things. Uh, uh, delete. You have chosen T-shirt. Oh. Your body is being scanned. Extra. 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 <laughs> large. T-shirts. Printing now and is being charged to your membership account. <laughs> Please collect your T-shirts in the tray below. Thank you for using the Money Shop 3000, Mr. Polchester. Remember, we're always watching. Have a sexy day. Oh, baby, I love it. All when this you... work, and what do I get for it at the end of it? A date with Doreen. And people wonder why I drink myself to sleep every night. Oh, baby, I love it when you wear it for me. Can I put this on? It... I don't own enough offensive novelty t-shirts. Worst one I've got says, I'm a cop up against the wall and spread them. <laughs> Alright, let's go break somebody's heart. Oh, we still gotta get to that man some organs so we can get some money. Hey, lady, check out my t-shirt. Hey, Lisha. Went shopping today for a new look. Did somebody say my favorite words? Tell me, does this bring out my eyes? Oh. Oh. It's what everyone's wearing this season behind your slender yet orange back. May I have that, please? You son of a fat bastard ho dog, where the toss do you get off oh, ruining my life with your tossing antics? Oh my god, she's so fat, don't tell me you're into that. This is going all over the mags tomorrow and I'm taking 100% of everything you've got, you grown manion. So, Doreen. Well, Doreen, still on for tonight. Oh, Hector, are you asking me out on a date? I'm flattered. The last thing I want to do is flatter you. Remember, this is all business. We can chew over the necessary particulars at dinner then, yeah? If you've got us a table at Shea, then you can chew over my particulars all evening, sweetie. Oh, Paul Bags, what have I done? This is a regret already. Oh, well, probably get a fumble in a shadowy alleyway out of it. I'll just close my eyes and pretend it's Ellen Mirren. Uh, I guess I'll meet you there. Oh. Just closing up, Toots. You skip ahead and I'll meet you there. But I need that key. I'm wetting myself with excitement. Let's go to the restaurant. Yes. Yes, I understand. I agree. He is exactly that what you just said. Pas de problème, ma petite débile. I am striking you from the list of significant people as we are speaking. Good day, Madame Polchester. Oh, sacré mou, he is back. He thinks I will forget if he returns and tries letter. Sir, out of curiosity, does Sir happen to have a table free? Hmm. Hmm. Is there a problem? No and yes. No for you and yes for me. Welcome to Chez Le Buffet. Your table for two is ready. Finally. Score. Will sir be requiring that the two chairs be pushed together to accommodate him? No, thank you. I'd like to sit as far from my date as possible. And will your... date be along shortly? Send her straight in. She'll be the one wearing pink camouflage. Oh, mon dieu. Right, let's get this over with. You're so forward, sweetie. We haven't even ate yet. Oh, cripes. This is going to be a long night. Oi, car gone. <laughs> Get over here. I need my meat. I'm hungry. Hurry up, bro.
No need to leave your seat, sir. Here at Chez La Buffet, we have the food come to you. A man like you would like that, wouldn't you, sir? Wait a minute. Are you implying I find it difficult getting in and out of seats? No, no. What I mean, a true English gentleman like yourself who works hard all day can now relax and be served. Hmm. Will you be having something to eat with us today? Well, seeing as how we are sitting in a restaurant, what do you think? One must never make assumptions about the overeating habits of one's patrons, sir. Right, so where are the menus? No menus, just this plethora of colour what you see. Small, medium or uh, fat. I believe the word you are looking for is large. Did I say fat? I mean large. Always get the two flippy floppy, very sorry. Listen, Yakov, if you're given attitude, you can get rid of it right now, or things are going ugly. Sir, it is merely my mediocre grip of the English communication. Is it now? And plus, things reached their ugliness as you enter the room <laughs> and can only improve, yes? Oh, burn. Now, what would you like from the serving station? What are my choices? All three are the same. The right one. Your choices say much about you, sir. I need another plate. That one's dirty. Oh, wait. That's my food, isn't it? Sir is, I'm sure, used to much larger portions. But I assure you I shall come around again a moment more. Now, what will the amusing couple be having to drink? <laughs> Amusing? No. Charming? Yes. Sir? I want... <laughs> I was gonna say beer, but I like this. What have you got with cyanide in it? I fear it's gonna be that sort of evening. Ah, oh, well, then save room for the almond roulade. Eating in this place is like one big game of Russian roulade. No, the Russians make it with beets. And you, miss? I'll have a mentos and coke. Coming right away. It's the fresh maker, because she wants to get fresh with me. Well, with Hector. Reminds me of a doggy in marmalite. Ew. <laughs> well, everybody. <laughs> On that very classy note, I'm going to head off. Next time, we're going to have our date with Darlene. Is Hector going to get lucky? I'm not sure if getting laid is lucky for him or not. Either way, I'll see you next time, and thanks for hanging out.